pot in Mississippi. Um, I want to show y'all what I'm working on today, though. Y'all heard me talk a little bit about these elderberries. Those are some that I dug up. They were only about this tall, maybe. I had them planted for about a year down at the end of um, our driveway towards uh, the front of our house, and they never grew. So I brought them in here and put them in these five gallon buckets. So I actually started them off in a smaller bucket, then transplanted them into larger buckets, and they are just really growing and really establishing themselves. So um, I'm just gonna plant those, and I wanna take y'all to where I'm gonna plant them. All right, I wanna show y'all why I chose this location. I also picked my smallest elderberry and dug a hole. And as you can hear, it is on the back side of our chicken coop. Now, the reason why I picked this location and the smallest one that I had, which is still grown tremendously, but it's still the smaller of my three. Um, and elderberry is native here, but for whatever reason, the locations that I had them first, they just did not grow. So they have really taken off in my greenhouse and done great, but I really will need them growing in the ground. So we're gonna do a different location. But I picked the back side of my chicken coop and it might be hard to see from here, but typically when the when it rains and it rains hard, our water will drain this way. So I'm hoping to get some natural um, diluted uh, rainwater uh, slash fertilizer to um, really beef this thing up. So we're gonna plant it here. It's part shade, part sun here. Like I said, these things are nat uh, native to our area. Um, they grow all in the woods. We unfortunately just have not been able to locate any on our property, which is actually one of our goals this year, is to go out in the woods um, towards the mid to end of summer. And you will see on elderberry, they blossom these big, huge flower heads that are white. They're very easy to locate. Um, so that was one of our goals this year is to go out and locate um, one of these trees from our area. But for right now, um, we're gonna keep what we have in the yard. We're gonna do the best we can to get these things up and producing. So I have chosen this location for the smallest one and we're gonna get it planted. My little guy's in the ground. Um, I wish I had a, my tripod stand and stuff out here, but unfortunately I forgot to bring it out and I don't have time to walk all the way back up to the house and bring it all the way back down here to get it all set up. So we're just gonna roll with what we got. Um, I got it in the ground. Um, this little booger is very, very, if you look down there, you'll see I broke that stem off by accident. Um, it still feels pretty fragile. So I don't know, I'm just gonna um, plant it here, keep it watered because our days are starting to get hot and dry. So I'm just gonna um, keep it here. Um, it is supposed to rain in a few days. So hopefully some of that will wash down here too and give it a good feeding. Um, uh, but for right now, we're just gonna keep it good and watered. Um, like I said, these are native to our area. They grow all in the woods. So um, I think that uh, this part shade, part sun location is a good location. Um, it's a good mix. So um, I'm just gonna watch it and hopefully this little thing will take off now. And now we're going to go to uh, get our next two planted. Okay, so here we are with our um, second location. Now I picked this location, this is different um, from where my other tree was and my goal really is to try to put these things in different locations to see how differently they grow. Now this is going to be in the middle of our um, little mini orchard honestly. Um, this is a grape and you can see that it's, um, it's growing. This is a peach. And we do have some peaches on there. This is also a peach. 
and it has a few on there. Um, we've got fig, some blueberries. We have most of our blueberries at a different location. You know, we just transplanted these little small pieces of blackberry from a different location just this past spring. So that's why they're looking kind of yuck. Um, they really just need, I feel like, more time to settle in. Well, this is an apple tree. And we've got some there, one there, and a few up there. I don't know if you can see it from the shade. I'm really starting to run out of time here. I'm not sure if you can see that. I think that's all on there right now. A few little clusters like that at the top. So my goal is to put this in a different location. So I'm fixing to dig another hole. We're gonna put this um, elderberry in the middle of the. So I wanted to show y'all this real fast. So this little stem right here, when I dug these up and brought them in my greenhouse, this is as big as they were right here. This right here, that's as big as they ever got. So that's why we brought we dug them up and brought them in the greenhouse because in all that time, they never really grew. So when, they, when I brought them in my greenhouse and just really babied them, they grew so much. So we're going to get them back in the ground now that they are bigger and a little bit more mature. And um, hopefully they're going to get some good growth on them. Second one's in. So we're going to go grab our third one and go off to our next location. Our third location, you'll have to excuse the back porch. We're trying to complete up a project there. But the third location we decided, now these crab apple trees um, have really done well here. They have grown, um, I believe we've had them for two years, maybe three years, but they have just really, really grown. Our rose is back here, and this is another set of blueberries. Um, we have sets of blueberries back here. You can see those outside of our um, outdoor living space. And they have always grown really well right here. So we chose this location because there's so much good growth in this area. We're going to um, get this thing in the soil right here. Okay, our third one is in the ground and you can see this one, they're still very fragile, and we really beat this thing up trying to get it out of the five-gallon bucket. The roots in this one, this one was the only one where the roots were all the way to the bottom of the bucket, and trying to get it all the way out um, was really a challenge. And you can see here and here, we um, broke some off, unfortunately. So, um... Anyway, there's an update on our elderberries. Um, I'm going to keep those, like I said, keep them watered really good. I've got this one will be in pretty much full sun. The one that's way over there on the other side of the chicken coop is going to be part sun, part shade. And the one that is down on the other side of our fruit orchard, down there, is also part shade part sun so um we're gonna just kind of experiment with i did not want to put them all in the same place 
I wanted to put them in different locations of the yard just to see how um, they would do growing in the different places. Um, so anyway, there's an update on our, our elderberries um, for now. And um, wish us luck. Hopefully they will grow better than they did last time in the ground here uh, on our homestead. Happy homesteading, y'all. Thank you.